Hey guys, welcome to 334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I'm out here to do another how-to video, and today I'm gonna to be installing a anchor trolley kit. Uh, this anchor trolley kit was sent to me by Sea Lake Designs. This is their performance anchor trolley kit. I'll link it down in the description below. Uh, so guys, today's video is going to be brought to you by SeaLakeDesigns.com. Please visit their website. They got a ton of stuff for kayaks. Uh, they have rod holders, anchor trolley kits, anchors, deck plates, lights. They have all kind of stuff that you could be looking for. Um, i am also got another video coming up next, which is going to be their three and a half pound anchor. So stay tuned uh, to the channel for that. And guys, as always, if you find this video helpful, leave me a like. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free and I appreciate everybody. So let me show you how I did this anchor trolley kit. And I want to go over all the key features of this anchor trolley kit before I start the install. All right, guys, let me show you the basic tools you're going to need to do this install. We're going to need a tape measure. Uh, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need a razor blade or a pair of scissors, anything to cut the rope with. You're going to need a lighter or a torch or any way to burn the end when you cut the rope to keep it from fraying. A uh, sharpie or a pencil, anything that you can, uh, any way that you can mark, especially where you're needing to mark to drill the holes out. You're going to need a drill. If you're using the well nuts, you're going to need a 3 8 inch drill bit. Uh, if you're just using the bolts uh, and have in access to inside of the hole, you would need a 3 16 inch drill bit to do it that way. Now I'm going to be installing the well nuts, so I need the 3 8 inch uh, drill bit. All right, guys, let me open the anchor trolley kit and I'll show you everything that comes inside of it. You get all your components. You get two of these cheap blocks, and as you can see, there's no pulley, there's no ball bearings, there's nothing in these cheap blocks. It is a simple, very nice design. It's easy to keep clean. Uh, these cheap blocks, as you can see, the little slotted portion here, I'm sitting at the bow. So these cheap blocks would get mounted on with the slotted portion facing the inside of the kayak. And as you can see, your rope would just run around on the back side. Now from the stern, it would need to face toward the center of the kayak, just like this. So this would be facing from the stern. This would be facing from the bow, which I'll go over these more during the install. You get two pad eyes. You get your actual zig cleat. You get your ring clip. And this ring clip here, as you can see, where you tie your rope on, your knot was set inside the slotted section. Your ring clip needs to be facing the center of the kayak from the bow. I'll show you more about this ring clip as we're doing the install. You get all the mounting hardware, so you have your well nuts, your bolts, washers, nuts. Uh, I'm going to be using the well nuts on my kayak today. If you have access to inside your hole, you can use the bolts and nuts. You also get 30 foot of a uh, rope that goes with this anchor trolley kit. So uh, I'm gonna get everything set up at the uh, stern guys and we're gonna get this install started. All right guys, uh, when you're mounting your cheap blocks uh, on the bow and on the stern back here, uh, they recommend you coming in 12 to 18 inches so on mine here, I'm going to come in the full 18 inches and mount my cheap block. Uh, so it's going to be dead center of 18 inches. I'm going to go ahead and get it marked on here. So that's exactly where it's going to go. Got two marks there. So uh, let me get the drill and get these holes drilled. So I'm going to get this hole drilled on out here. Now you're not in no hurry drilling these holes here, so let me grab my well nut. Go ahead and stick both the well nuts inside there. Take the cheap block back up. Sliding portion of your cheap block is what needs to be facing the center of the kayak. 
started here. Now I'm just going to start this back one right here. I'm going to go ahead and get my front one in. Now what you want to do is just snug them down, uh, kind of snug them down together. That way you're not over tightening one to the back one. Just snug them down pretty snug and even with each other. Alrighty. Now we got this cheap block on, so let's move up here to the bow and go ahead and get our other cheap block on. Alright guys, on the bow of the kayak, they recommend the same thing, 12 to 18 inches off the bow. Uh, the Sim 133X has got this huge front here, so on the uh, on mine, uh, if you're doing it on the Ascend, uh, I'm going to get mine right here at about 28 inches uh, off the very nose of this kayak because it's got such a curve here and where I'm wanting to get it straight at. So I'm going to get my cheap block more right here at about 28 inches. Uh, that way I'm not trying to get all around this curve. That's going to let your uh, rope come up above the uh, top of the kayak. So I'm going to get mine right here at about 28 inches. I'm going to line it back up with this. I'm using this uh, little line here where it comes down and straight. That's my line that I'm using to keep my cheap block straight. Once again, the cheap block with the slottest section faces the center of the kayak here. Uh, that way where your rope runs around. So from right here, get it lined up. Looks good. All righty, I'm gonna go ahead and get these holes drilled out. And I don't think I've said this yet, using well nuts, there is no need for silicone. They actually don't recommend you using it uh, because it can make them slip out. So do if you're using the well nuts, don't use any silicone. Let me get the well nuts inserted. All right. Go ahead and get this back one started. When these well nuts tighten up on that back side, they actually uh, they actually waterproof it, so the hole gets sealed up, so you don't get water inside your hole. Now I'm gonna tighten these up the same way I did back on the stern. Just start with one, just kind of. Go from one to the other and tighten them down simultaneously together. That way you're not tightening one before the other. You just have to snug them down. They ain't got to be super tight. Alrighty. Alright guys, now we're going to mount the zig cleat on. So uh, with my seat being here, I'm going to get this zig cleat mounted right here. Uh, that's the most accessible place to me. And uh, like I said, you want to just keep it in line with your uh, uh, cheap block. So I'm going to go ahead and get it marked off here. Now there's no, there's no slotted portions on the zig cleat. So you need to mark one line, drill the hole, and then mark the other line to drill a hole. That way you get it, uh, you're not having a hole off center. So I'm going to get one hole marked and get a hole drilled, and then, uh, then I'll do the other one. Okay, I got both holes marked, but I'm gonna start with one hole and drill it out, put a well nut in it, and get it marked, and then I'm gonna make sure my other hole is lined up, and then I'll drill my other hole. So I'm gonna start with one hole only. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this front hole here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a well nut in it. Go ahead and get one of the uh, one of the bolts started on it. I'm gonna 
check my other hole and my other hole is lined up there so I'm gonna go ahead and drill my other hole out and as you seen all I had to do was turn the zig cleats it gives me access to drilling this hole all right I'm gonna go ahead and get my well nut put in there and get my other bolt all right Just like we did on the cheap blocks back there when you're tightening down the bolts for the well nuts, just go from one to the other, tighten them down at the same time. That way you're not over tightening one or the other. Just get them nice and snug down. It doesn't take a lot of force. Then well nuts just pull to the inside of the kayak. So I got the zig cleat on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the acre trolley line. I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, through the cheap blocks uh, and go ahead and get it pulled through. So let me uh, let me get you set up. Now the ring clip that comes with this anchor trolley kit, uh, the way that your two lines connect, you're gonna have to tie what is called a perfection knot. Uh, that's the best knot that I know for this kit here. So I'm gonna show you how to tie one. If you take your line and make a simple loop, come back around and make a second small loop. So now you have two small loops here. Lay your line right in between them, reach through and grab the inner loop. Cinch it down. That is a perfection knot. This gives you a small knot that doesn't slip or move and allows you to pull tight. And the reason for that, the ring clip that comes with the kit is a carabiner style. It connects right into the perfection knot there. And this is how your anchor trolley line would connect. All right, guys, since I went ahead and tied that perfection knot on, I'm going to have to come up through the bottom side of the stern cheek block here. I'm going to pull this all the way to the bow. I'm gonna... When you come through the top side of your front cheek block, now you need to pull this back. Now, this is my perfection knot that I tied on. I'm going to take my ring clip here and I'm going to see where it would actually pull nice and tight. Alrighty. When I see on my rope where I see where it'll pull nice and tight, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Alrighty. Now that I've got it cut off, now I've got to get the ring clip tied on. Now, this ring clip has a small slotted portion in the front and a circle in the back that's indented for your, uh, when you tie a knot, it'll set in that. So you need to take and run your trolley line through the front of the ring clip. And we need to get a small knot tied on the back side here. And just make a small, simple knot. Pull it down nice and tight. Make it as small as you can. Let that pull into the ring clip. As you can see, I got a small knot tied on now. It lays in that small slotted portion of the front of the ring clip. Now we can take this and the perfection knot here. Now we can take and pull them both together. And it locks in. Now I've got to cut this uh, small little tag out right here. I've got to cut it off to make it smaller. But that allows for the ring clip. Now, this is the feature of the ring clip. As you can see, I can connect it and disconnect it. Now you can take this ring clip here 
pull your rope tight in the back. It won't come back through that cheap block. You can use this as a tow line. Uh, if you're waiting and want to clip it to your belt clip, take it out to a shallow water anchor pole uh, and anchor it down. Uh, there's a ton of different uses for this ring clip. And when you're done, just come back, reconnect it on, and you have a nice tight anchor trolley line. Let me go ahead and get the pad eyes on and we'll put it out here in the water and uh, we'll give it a test and show you how it works. All right, guys, we're putting your pad eyes on. Uh, you want to go about from, try to get it between your zig cleat and your uh, cheap block in the back. You want to get it almost to the center. I'm going to get a pad eye here. Now I'm going to keep my pad eyes. Uh, I'm going to put the bottom of the pad eye right here at the top side of this line to kind of match up with the uh, cheap blocks and the, uh, and the zig cleat. So right here, I'm going to mark where I need a hole there. I'm going to mark where I need a hole there. Uh, now, when you're doing the pad eyes, you want to do it the same way you did the zig cleat. You want to drill one hole, get a well nut in it, and then double check your top hole. So that's the way I'm going to do this in the same way. Get a drill. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom hole here. Go ahead and get a hole drilled. Go ahead and get a well nut installed, the bottom well nut. I'm going to go ahead and get it, the line in, and I'm going to get it started. And always remember, guys, it's the top line that goes in the pad eye, not the bottom line. So it's the top line here of your anchor trolley that goes into the pad eye. And my top hole, my top hole still looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a hole drilled in it. Give it a double check. Go ahead and get that well nut inserted in there. Don't forget to put your <laughs> Don't forget to put your anchor trolley line inside the pad eye. A lot of guys miss that. So I got the top line in the pad. Go ahead and get these tightened down. Same way you did your cheap block, same way you did your zig cleat, just do them one at a time. Go back and forth, don't over tighten one or the other. Just get them snug down. Let's move up here to the front and get the other one installed. Get mine as close to the center as possible. I'm gonna do it just like the rear. I'm gonna start getting my marks in, but I'm gonna line it up right here with this center line. Get a mark on that bottom one. Line it up, get it nice and straight. Get it as straight as possible, guys. That way you ain't looking all crooked. Got that top one marked, bottom one marked. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom hole drilled out. I'm go ahead and get a well nut in it. Go ahead and get the bolt started in it. All right, I'm gonna double check that. I'm gonna double check my top hole to see if that's, all right, that still looks good, still lines up, it's nice and straight, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this top hole drilled out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wheel nut started. Once again, make sure your top line only is in the pad eye. Uh, it's the top line, leave your bottom line loose. Go ahead and get that one installed. I'm going to reiterate it again. I know I've said it a hundred times. Don't over tighten them and do them just one at a time. Get them snug down. All 
Alrighty. And that's it, guys. I'm going to take it down here and put it in the water and run an acre line up through here and show you how this thing works down in the water. All right, guys. I got wind coming in my face here. Now I got the anchor trolley line right here dead center. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in right here in the center of the kayak. I'm going to go ahead and throw the anchor out. Dead center of the kayak. I'm going to be sitting broadside of the creek now, as you can see. I have that bank. The wind's blowing directly into my face here. And I have that bank. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch this and take it up to the bow of the kayak. Now I have it all the way at the bow. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in. This is going to allow the wind let me stand back up. This is going to allow the wind to push me and I'll be facing directly into the wind. As you can see, as the bow is pulling me around. Okay, now I'm locked and I'm facing directly into the wind. I have this bank here, this bank on my other side, and the bow of the kayak is facing off. Now, if I want to change that back up, undo my zig cleat, I can move that anchor trolley line back. I'm gonna move it all the way back to the stern again. And as you can see, the nose of the kayak is coming around. Got the anchor directly off to the side of the kayak. My bow is coming around. I'm going to take the anchor trolley on back to the stern. As you can see, it's turning me right on around. Now it's going to have the wind blowing from directly at the stern of the kayak. It's going to have me going straight down the creek. That's with it all the way at the stern. And like I said, if you want to change positions, I'm parallel with this bank right here now. If I want to change that position, take the anchor trolley and pull myself back around. I'm gonna put it right here directly in the center. As you can see, my bow is gonna start coming right back around. I've got the anchor trolley line directly in the center. You can see my bow coming back around. And guys, that's how an anchor trolley line works. Uh, you basically, when you set your anchor out and you have the wind blowing or the current moving uh, in your direction, you put your anchor out and you can line your kayak or john boat up exactly where you want to be on the water. Uh, I appreciate you watching to the end. Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.